Hi everyone, my name is Elsa. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a 5 stars prediction. I selected 15 books I'm pretty sure I'm gonna adore. So I talk about these 15 books to you guys and by the end of the year I'll try to have heard as many as possible on this list and you know to have finished the series or at least read the first volume of the series and I will do another video with the updates and tell you what I thought about these, these books and if they were or not five stars. So first on this list we have Senlin Ascends. So I heard so many great things about this book, I can't wait to read it. And basically what I heard is that it's the story of a guy he just got married and he comes to this city, this very weird and mysterious city that kinda it's a sort of tower, you know, with uh, different levels and very complicated um, politic intrigues. And so his wife goes missing and he starts to look for her, but he's completely, you know, overwhelmed and, that, and the story goes from there. So I don't know much about it and I want it to stay this way. I just want, you know, to go in it a bit blind and see what happens. And I'm just so, so, so excited to read it. Then we have The Lies of Locke Lamora. So another book everyone talked about and said it said was great. So it's supposed to be about this group of thieves, especially those two men that are friends from um, when they were children. And you have this kind of back and forth between past and present. I don't know if anything else about the plot. And say my Linda sense, I don't want to know anything more. It's, uh, it's perfect this way. Uh, a lot of booktubers I follow adore this book, so I'm just going, you know, to read it. But the, the heist trope is something I really enjoy. It's also supposed to have a great friendship, you know, between the two male characters. And I'm there for it, so we'll see how this goes. Then we have Aura Rising. So I basically cheated because, <laughs> uh, let me explain, I didn't put on this list any book by Terry Pratchett, Brendan Sonnesson and Frederick Backman because if you follow my channel you know that I adore these three authors and so any book they write I'm almost sure I'm going to give five stars. So I would have cheated if I, if I had put any book by them on this list, so I didn't. I still did put Aura Rising, although it is written by Jay Kristoff. Jay Kristoff is one of my favorite writers because I loved the Nevernight series and Illuminati Files. Read them if you haven't yet. And this is, in, this is his new series, Aura Rising, and I can't uh, wait to read it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna adore it. Then we have The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. So everyone says how great an author N.K. Jemisin is and I really want to read her books. And this one in particular, everyone is, you know, raving about it and I just can't wait to read it. So first on my list, I have then another book by her. It's The, the Hundred Thousand Kingdoms. And this one I might read first because um, a booktuber I adore I did a video, if you like this, you like this. And she, she said that if you loved um, Strange the Dreamer, you would adore uh, uh, The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin. And so as Strange the Dreamer is one of my favorite series of all time, I just can't wait to read this series and see if it's really, you know, it has the same vibe as this book. Then we have Foundryside. So this one too, I heard a lot about. I don't know much. Um, I think it's about a thief, a girl thief, but really I don't know anything about it. Every book you buy, follow, read it and loved it, so I'm sure I'm going to love it as well. Then we have To Be Taught If Fortunate. So this one, uh, another book you buy, I follow was, you know, crazy about this book. This book is sci-fi and it's supposed to be about this group of people that come to, to, to a planet and it's supposed to have a lot of introspection, you know, and to be a bit slow with a lot of thinking and it's super short. 150 pages or something so yeah i'll definitely read it uh, soon then we have gideon the ninth i don't know much about this one as well just that it's a bit you know violent and it deals with death i'm not sure how i don't want to know it just sounds great and one of the main characters is a female badass and i want to see that so we'll see then we have malice same Malice I heard so much about. It's one of these series that everyone says the first book is incredible, but that the series, you know, uh, remains great throughout the series and it's finished. So that's a good thing for me. And I really want, you know, to read it. So we'll see. I don't know anything about the plot. 
Then we have Jade City. So Jade City, I can't wait to read as well. It's supposed to be about this uh, town, you know, um, a bit inspired by Shanghai or something like that. Um, and we, you have these rival gangs that fought in a, in a kind of underworld war and I want to see that, so we'll see. Then, The Shadow What Was Lost, I know nothing about it except that uh, a friend of mine is crazy about this series and that's enough for me to stop the series, so we'll see. Then, The Long Way to Small Angry Planet, so this one is sci-fi as well and uh, it's supposed to be about this group of people, you know, they they are from different species and they're on this ship going towards I don't remember what, maybe a war or something, I, I don't know. And the, the way there takes a really long time and you kind of see, you know, how their relationship grows and there's a lot of introspection as well. And I'm really hoping for it because I love, 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 love when characters are really developed and when the, the relationships take a special place in the book. Like that's something I adore when you, the author really puts everything she had into the characters and the relationships. So if that's what the long way to a small angry planet is, I'm there for it. Then we have Traitor's Blade, uh, same, recommended by a lot of my favorite booktubers, and so we'll see if it's as good as everyone says. <laughs> Don't know anything about it. Then we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, so I cheated this time as well because <laughs> it's the, the other series written by Lainey Teller, uh, who I adore. So yeah, I cheated, but it's my video, I do what I want, <laughs> and so I can't wait to read it because I adore so much Stranger Dreamer. And finally, we have Poppy War, who was, you know, so like everywhere on booktube recently and everyone seems to have loved it so much. I wasn't really interested uh, in it at the beginning when the hype was starting because books that have plots that are heavily centered around war usually kind of bore me because I'm more into, you know, character development and relationships. And so, you know, having a war doesn't bother me. It can be really interesting and I can, and in a lot of books, I love it, but no, not when, you know, it takes all the space in the book. So I was a bit, you know, on the defensive with, with that thing. And I also, you know, uh, the drug thing and the colonialism theme was something that interests me, but not that much. I prefer fantasy that, you know, all that's related to our history. I like books that make me travel, you know, in different places from our awful world. And so books that are, you know, more on the historical fiction side tend to, you know, don't interest me as much as everyone else. But this one, everyone was saying so many great things about, about the main character, about the, the cast, about what happens and the themes. Um, I think I, uh, I changed my opinion on it and I think it will definitely be a great book. So these are the 15 books I think I love and we'll see, you know, by the end of the year if I was right or not. <laughs> if you have, you know, any thoughts on the books, no spoilers, please. Uh, don't hesitate to leave, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to read them. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you around, guys.